<sighs> All right. Welcome to the Naked Cat Podcast. My name's Dale Earnhardt Jr. the second. Hey, that's my name. Listen here, motherfucker. Is that your name? My name's Dale. Okay. Well, I'm Dale too. I guess we're both. Wait, Dale number two. Bitch. You're Dale too. I'm Dale too. Welcome. I'm here to expose you. What? For fucking my wife, thirty six times. Which one was it? Cindy Lily. It was Cindy Lily. That's her name. Oh. <laughs> you forgot her goddamn name. You dirty bastard. I can't even remember what happened. Remind me. What'd she tell you? Well, you, you, you were giving her back shots in the back of my Honda. My, my Japanese car. You shouldn't have been doing that. See, that's where you went wrong right there. You got a Japanese <laughs> car. This is America, okay? Yeah. I hear you. Yeah, three for Dale. Yeah. You're number two, so that makes sense. I'm Dale number two because I'm the, the second best. You punk bitch. Yeah, and guess who's the first? Who? You're looking at him. <laughs> Listen here, motherfucker. <laughs> you can't laugh at this shit, bitch. What are you laughing? I'm not laughing, motherfucker. I'm laughing. I'm just kind of like heartly, kind of gently breathing. Is this what you... And it sounds this, like a laugh. Is this what you brought me on here to say? Yeah. I'm exposing you on the Naked Cat podcast. Why is it a naked cat? Because they look like testicles. Yeah. I think people like testicles. You must have some nasty looking testicles. Do you want to see them? Dale. Do you want to see them? <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, motherfucker. You've been fucking coming to my trailer park asking for ketchup for the past three weeks. What else am I supposed to put in my mashed potatoes? Goddamn mayonnaise. Man eggs. That's where you get it wrong. Too much mayonnaise makes it too creamy, too soft. I thought you liked it creamy, Dale. No, man. My, the only See, this is creamy and soft right here. Dale, tell us how you got that stomach. Because that shit is vicious. Well, uh... You look like you're about to explode, Dale. I'm trying to go lighter beer. That's why I got the Heineken. I'm trying to get rid of this thing. I don't know. <laughs> Cindy, like, didn't, get Cindy Lily didn't seem to mind it. <laughs> oh, you dumb motherfucker. I should take your ass to Maury. You think I won't do that shit? Yeah. You think Maury won't expose your ass for being a little trailer park cheater? You know, God's watching. You ever think about that? Amen, brother. Amen. 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 We, went, we, we were in church last week. And you said to Jesus, you told him, you said, I wouldn't cheat again, I won't drink any more beer, and I won't fuck any of my cousins. Well, luckily, he forgives me. You ain't even asked for forgiveness. You gotta ask <laughs> for forgiveness before he forgives you, Dale, you dirty bastard. I give the church a little bit of money, okay? They can tolerate a little bit of this. Well, how much you give him last week? God damn it, Dale, my beer's overflowing. How much, oh. you, give, how much you give him last week? <laughs> Put some laxative in there too, so. Because you want me to shit. Yeah, you're Or because you know I'm the shit, Dale. Oh, that was good. I'm yeah. not going to lie, that one was. That was very punny yeah. of me. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, that one was a good one. I got nothing to say against that. You fuck my wife. You lying to God. Is there anything you're doing right, Dale? <laughs> I ask myself that every day. <laughs> you gave up your NASCAR, your, your goddamn NASCAR dreams. What are you even doing with your life, Dale? I'm uh, letting this thing grow out right here. Letting this letting this thing grow out. You're letting it grow out? Yeah. What thing? This thing. Tell me about it. You know how long it took to get this? How long? <laughs> 30 years. Three Fortnites? I don't... Three that, games of Fortnite? That's what my nephews play, okay? I don't know about, nothing about them Fortnite. God damn it, Dale. I'm fucking losing juices over you. Oh, God. Well, Remember what you think could be said about your wife? God damn it. Leave, leave sweet Lily out of this shit. <laughs> God damn it. You, 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 you're, going to, you're going to hell, Dale. I was, That's really, to, I was going to town, more like. God damn it. You just let me walk right over you, you man. You keep doing it over and over, Dale. God damn it. I thought you were a good Christian. You got an American flag well, over your head. That's where you got wrong. I'm Baptist. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I don't expect you to know nothing about Baptists. <laughs> what, what the fuck? What the fuck does that mean, Dale? I don't even what know. What the fuck is a BAP, Dale? <laughs> I think well, that's what those kids be hitting these days. <laughs> a, a BAP? I think that's what they call it. They be hitting the BAP? Yeah, hitting the, yeah right? They be hitting the they BAP. They addicted in BAPs. 
Now, what's that shit earlier you said about the Little Mermaid, Dale? <laughs> yeah. Dale, t- say it. Yeah, say it again, Dale. What's that shit you said about the Little Mermaid, you little I, bitch? I said I used to have a VHS player, and I played the little shit out of Mermaid. Mm. When then she turned black. God damn it, Dale. I didn't even know they had that much sun down in the ocean. You know they got black mermaids, Dale. You dumb hick. <laughs> you, dumb, you dumb fucking hick. <laughs> Say my name, okay? <laughs> Say my name. Say my name. My name's your name, and our name's the same. Oh, God. God damn it, Dale. What are they, what are they saying on there? Are they saying shit? Get them, Dale. Fuck Dale. Oh, God. They, they, look at that. They're <laughs> cursing me out right now. <laughs> Dale, you ain't shit. Your mama ain't shit. Your daddy ain't shit, Dale. I don't even know my daddy. I know you don't know your daddy, Dale. Because I am your daddy. He's somewhere in that trailer park, goddammit. <laughs> you probably fucked him too, like you did my wife. My mom doesn't even know who my daddy is. Dale, who you think your daddy is? I don't know, but there's some guy that looks like me in the trailer park, and he drives really slow by my house. I don't know why. The fuck? He's or your trailer, da- I guess. Dale, is your daddy stalking you? <laughs> is he... <laughs> He got out of, is your fucking daddy stalking you, Dale? He got out of the alimony. <laughs> What's he want from you, Dale? Why is he why is he stalking you outside your trailer park? What'd you do? Nothing. Just I confess your sins. You I knew you were a Baptist. Whatever the hell that is, Dale. Just confess your goddamn sins. You're not my priest. Actually, I was ordained Wait, in the it, trailer park. They don't have priests. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> they, have, they have pastors. Goddamn trailer park priest. <laughs> I was born in a. I was born in a bathtub. You were born. You, you ever mm. been born in a bathtub? Was have ever, ever been born in a bathtub? Yeah. You were one stupid motherfucker, <laughs> Dale. You, you stupid son of a bitch. I graduated highest in my high school. Okay. I, sh- I should take your ass to Jerry Springer and really ring you the fuck out, Dale. See, by highest, I'm in on math. You're on the math. The math. I, yes. <laughs> I thought you quit the meth, Dale. No, the Breaking Bad shit came to my town, wrecked me. God damn, the show was too good. <laughs> it was way too good. <laughs> too inspiring. They started putting food color into that shit. I didn't know what to do. Dale, you got to get off the meth. You got to go back to Jesus, Dale. Wow. You, 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 you've been dishonorably discharged and you got an American flag. You're a piece of shit, Dale. I served this country right. I'll serve it again. Yeah, like I served your grandma last week. Give me a high five for that one because you know it was good. Just All give right, me that. Right. Good. She, she needed it anyway. She was lonely. Yeah. Yeah, you just shook my hand because I fucked your grandma. Dale, you really are a piece of shit. <laughs> You're never going to be better than this. Oh, God damn it. All right, y'all. That's the execution of Dale. Uh, I don't feel well, good. Welcome to the Naked Cat Podcast. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing off. <laughs> I'm uh, Mario Castillo. I'm with John Paul Johnson. Jean Paul uh, a North Carolinian. Do you guys call yourself North Carolinians? Uh, no. <laughs> You're keeping the belly. <laughs> right. um, yeah. So tell us a little bit about your character. What, 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 what about them? Um, what about him? Yeah, tell me a little bit about your character, Dale. What'd you, what'd you learn about Dale? In that, um, that he was like, just kind of racist, especially during the, that the mermaid. Yeah, the mermaid. I don't mm-hmm. know what got into him when he said that. Honestly, yeah, you that think kind of distasteful. You think there's an inherent racism with the uh, trailer park community? Hey. <laughs> 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 is that is that, <laughs> is that where you, we got our black people there too? Okay, <laughs> dude, I got this like hair in my face right yeah. now. <laughs> I feel like being black in a trailer park is just extra different. No, know? they need a black guy there. What do you mean? They need a black guy at trailer parks. Like like to fill a quota? The token, no, the token black guy. The, <laughs> it's one thing being a token black guy, and it's another thing being a token black guy for the trailer park. That's just extra different. No, they're fu- I think I think they bring a lot of humor to the trailer park community. Did you I don't you don't think you lived in a trailer park? No, I didn't. But you are from like North Carolina. Did you know anybody who was like a real trailer park? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's there's like uh, people in my high school. Like literally, there's like trailer parks all around where I grew up. Yeah, yeah. There's like some white trash people over there. What would you say about them? Um, you think they all feel about <laughs> Little Mermaid? How you? Feel? 
God damn it. Yeah, I, I feel like that's like a North Carolina yeah, thing. Why they're are like they all, making the Little all, Mermaid black? They're like all pissed off about it. <laughs> I Okay, the theory I have is yeah. that like a lot of black girls like Little Mermaid. Yeah. And I think that just like a lot of like little black girls like it. So they had to mm. like make them Little Mermaid black. Well, I don't think they had to do anything, but I, I, think, I think nowadays like when you look at, I don't think race is ne- uh, inherently attached to those characters. I think it, realistically, if you look at a lot of the white characters, they're kind of blank slates where their race isn't really a. I feel like in the you know '90s they had a lot of characters that were ambiguous. Like yeah, that. yeah. Well, you're okay, you, but you're talking about racial ambiguity. I'm talking about like Little Mermaid, like whether she's white or black or Chinese. Little Mermaid's Little Mermaid, is what I'm saying. Does that make sense? Like yeah, Cinderella, yeah. there was a, no. A, I think the mm-hmm. one the one thing that I'm kind of like it's just like make something different. You yeah. Know? Like I feel like they try to make all this money off of uh, the reoccurring shows. Yeah, that shit's instead lame. of making new stuff, it's just it's kind of like mm-hmm. they just keep reaping money out of that stuff. But I mean, they've never made a, a Little Mermaid live action. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> I think that I think when you make when you make a live action adaption, I think that's cool. I think that's like. Like that's cool. Like you should do. You should take that leap. But when they start redoing shit, like that was good. Yeah. Like what's a movie that they redid recently? And I was like, fuck. You should just left it alone. Oh, I, they did a lot of anime stuff. That was like the Avatar, the Last Airbender. That was ass. That was ass. The first one was um, ass. Did you re, did you watch the Death recent Note? One? Was completely different. Mm-hmm. But you're but you're talking about bad live actions. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about like what was something that was a live action and they completely just said, oh, let's just fucking try again. You know what I'm talking about? No. <clears throat> like, like, like they just changed the story up? Because they did that with Death Like Note. Dread. Like Dread. You know the movie Dread? Like Judge Dread? You don't I know don't Dread? I don't so, no. So basically there's this movie called Dread. It's about this guy. He's like a judge in the future. Or in the future, it's, it's actually a really cool ass, badass movie. But in the future, it's like the cops are not only cops, but they're also the judges and the executioners. Oh, that's it's where badass. that's from. It's badass. I, yeah, I'm the jury, the judge, and executioner. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's badass. Now that it's like that one, I was cool with that remake. I was cool as fuck with. I don't. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Mm-hmm. Or like Evil Dead. You are familiar with Evil Dead? No, I have no clue. No, <laughs> buddy, what have you been doing with your? What do you? You fucking. You live under a rock. You fucking Patrick Star. My trailer park. <laughs> <laughs> There's a rock near. I'm hanging out with the trailer park black guy. I'm doing my community <laughs> service. You think we got TVs? <laughs> we just watch each other jerk off. That's what we do. I was watching Little Mermaid, bitch, as every day. <laughs> Bro, were you really? No. Uh, oh, <laughs> I was gonna sing a fucking Latin. No, when I was a little kid, though, I used to make like a, mm. a, a little fort in my room. Yeah. And I had this like TV slash VHS player. Yeah. And I would like keep watching like um. Uh, Toy Story or like uh, Rugrats? Do you no, watch Rugrats? I yeah, I did, but I didn't have that on VHS. I mm-hmm. had that, and then I had um, The Land Before Time. Oh, and I would keep watching that. And then one time, I set up my Wii in there. I was like playing Wii, yeah. and I put my Wii Sports on the ground. I stepped on it and broke it. Yeah, it's the, the most depressing day of my life. The Wii Sports? Yeah, I broke that, and I never got another copy. Damn. What was your Wii Sport move? Would you like to play tennis? No, 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 bowling. Bowling? That's like the top. Yeah. Oh yeah, we we I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I was more into tennis. I like the fucking I was like fucking getting it. You know what I mean? That's fun. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, I totally forgot. We're still we're still live. Let's let's not go live anymore. All right. <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, uh I don't know. Yeah, with the remakes with the movies, I don't know. I've I've never personally I never personally tripped off of it unless it was good. But I mean, you just I think I got I got really pissed at the the anime ones they were doing. Because, like, mm-hmm. they really messed up Death Note, Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah. That, but that recent one that came out was actually pretty good. The the recent Avatar? Yeah, compared to the other one. <clears throat> well, it was M. Night Shyamalan who did the last one. That one was so bad. They made everyone Indian for some reason. I don't think that was the issue. Well, I'm not... I'm trying to Jesus, it was, fuck! It was... <laughs> see, this... Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, fuck! <laughs> um... <laughs> But hey, are you still in character or what? <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think it, that that was an issue. No, no, it was yeah. like the one the one scene where they're like doing like the fire bending and they had mm-hmm. to take from a fire and it was like the, everything's like really slow. The, the CGI was ass. So bad. Mm-hmm. 
but this this time around they actually had people like do like actually doing martial arts which was like, nice to see like they were like really good i actually liked um i liked the zuko from the movie yeah yeah he, he was he was pretty good was i pretty like good. i liked his attitude i don't care for the i new... think it matched the show mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah like the yeah his attitude but katara her character was ass terrible yeah 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 she was like such a pushover <clears throat> in, in the in that live action because she's not in the in the show in the in the show she's less of a pushover mm. did you yeah. okay well, there was a, a rumor i heard about avatar about katara and Z- zuko's relationship yeah. i guess they were supposed to be the shipped like they were supposed to be together but well no there's a lot of fans that wanted them to be together that would have been perfect yeah but it would have been f- perfectly fucked up yeah yeah no i mean i could i could see it yeah um i think it would have probably that would have taken the avatar into a whole new direction i think ang would have turned like evil you if that so? ha- yeah because he like loved her the entire mm. ever since like he woke up in the ice like he like yeah. loved her i could but i could have saw i could have i could have saw ang and toph together yeah i feel like uh yeah oh, there's a rumor about that, that they Sokka has a Toph? kid with Toph. inappropriate well not when they're Inna- little kids inappropriate I guess, inappropriate i guess she didn't see that one coming <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> double entendre <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> triple entendre <laughs> um yeah, but you you fuck with the new um, live action. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's not like it's not the best because they they combined a lot of the stories together that yeah. wasn't the same. Yeah, well, but it's like you can't expect it to be the same. I feel like I should probably take off my wig, but go ahead. Nah, I'm gonna keep it on. All right. Continuity. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you fuck with it? Uh, the CGI is better. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, the fighting scenes are a lot better. I didn't watch the whole thing. Yeah. Because I've already seen Avatar like so many times. What What are you watching right now? Uh, I'm rewatching Naruto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you're fucking nerd. You're. I'm. I went from Naruto <laughs> to Shippuden. Like, like me and Sam are just going in on it. it. Yeah, binging it every single every single day. Naruto is great though. Naruto is like. There's like a, a lot of good ass. Am I echoing? Um, I started echoing. Oh, I don't hear it. <gasps> no. Um, Naruto. Yeah, Naruto offers a lot of wisdom. That's why I fuck with it. You know. Yeah. I think I think what gets really really repetitive though is like the com- camaraderie stuff in it because yeah. they're like for my comrade yeah and and like I'm gonna be the next Hokage yeah it's it's and then Naruto Dude, you learns, said that a fucking million times he learns no jutsus yeah none yeah could you could you apply anime personalities to real life no you do that you get people going yeah 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 that's I'm gonna be a firefighter yeah. And no one's gonna stop me. No, that's see, that's where you get just autistic people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they really do embody. Kawhi. They really do embody stuff like that. Like, mm-hmm. like the people that I help. Like, they, oh, they right, right. Legitimately, you mm-hmm. are, like they're obsessed with with stuff. Yeah. Um, I even have one client that like nicknames everybody off of a show. Yeah, yeah. So and he he named mm-hmm. me Beavis. Right, right. So a little. Tell us a little bit about your background because you just started going off on autistic people. Let's talk, let's talk about your background. You well, I have with, a I have a bachelor's in social work. No, 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 not that background. Oh, okay. You work with I work with people, people with, with autism. autism, Down syndrome, and then so you see that often that they yeah, like I interact with them every day. Yeah, yeah. That they do like kind of anime kind of yeah, and, yeah, that. and they're um I would say what's similar to that is that anime has like a lot of characters in anime are like yeah. stagnant. Uh, like one dimensional. Yeah, they're, they're mm. like they they have the same routine. They like it's they're kind of stagnant throughout most of the series. Like almost yeah. it's almost like that entirely with all, like almost every anime I see. Mm. Um, it's rare to see like like somebody like like change an anime. Sometimes I feel like most yeah. of the, especially the main characters, not all the characters, they're like the same person from like start to finish. Um, and like that's kind of yeah. Like I think a lot of autistic people are like really into anime. It's so crazy to say that. I I feel like humans never change i feel like i mean i feel like i just feel like people don't change like you know what i mean like people will say oh yeah you've you've changed a lot like maybe physically but mentally i feel like mentally i'm the same person that i was when i was like seven well maybe that's just your inability to recognize how much you've changed interesting tell me about that yeah because like your thoughts happen every single day so it's actually like all the time yeah. so it's it's hard for you to realize changes because it's not drastic 
But if, if someone met you 10 years ago and then you didn't see them for 10 years and then they met you again, they would see a lot of changes compared to like yeah. you <clears throat> noticing them. Someone ever come up to you, dang, JP, you used to be such a spinner when you were a kid. See, I have a twin, <laughs> you, so you I were just blame it. Spinner. What, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> What's a spinner? <laughs> Buddy, you were when you were like about this high. You were such a spinner. I'm telling you. See that that sounds like that sounds like the uncle I don't want to be around. <laughs> buddy, you were spinning, <laughs> buddy, a spinner. <laughs> and then you, yeah, you what were you gonna say about your twin? Oh no, I was just saying I could just blame it on my twin because I have a twin. That, yeah. that, that wasn't me. That was my twin. Do you guys ever do that? Just blame shit on each other? Damn. Yeah, when I was, when I was a kid, yeah. Damn. It was kind of easy, but like, I didn't, I don't know. I, I feel like I was kind of honest as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, people get us mixed up all the time. Yeah. I would have people, I would go down the wrong hallway or be in a different part of the um, school mm-hmm. um, that my brother would normally be in. Yeah. And I would get people, hey, Dominic. And then it would be like the inverse of like when he was in a hallway that I would uh, typically go to class around yeah. that time. People would go up to him and say, hey, JP. So it was always funny. Like, people didn't even want to approach us sometimes because they didn't know who Yeah, because he didn't who. know. Yeah. And yeah. we, we had these triplets in my school. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we had these, oh, well, actually, we had these other set of twins. And they were identical. Like, I'm a twin. I couldn't even tell them apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't even want to talk to them. You couldn't use your twin dar. <laughs> I didn't even want to talk to them because they looked so similar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you didn't want to be rude and fuck up their names. Oh, I, I think I did a couple of times. And yeah. I felt guilty because I was a twin, too. Now, do they ever, do they ever hold that against you? Do, have you ever held no. it against somebody else? Unless, unless I you Dominic and you're like, really, you've known me for three minutes. <laughs> no, I think unless I knew you? them for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it would be awkward. I'm like, dude, like, <laughs> <laughs> buddy, you've seen my dick print. <laughs> okay, you got to know that there's a difference. Wait, wait, what type of difference did uh, you have? <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm I'm terrible. I'm terrible with uh, recognizing people. I mean, sometimes I, I just assume like... People, don't say all white people look the same. I think... No, I think all races look the same. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. I just... I can't help it, bro. Like, I'm black. I've seen two black girls. They had... Fucking both had glasses. Same exact uh, complexion. Same hairstyle. And I was like, are you guys sisters? And they were pissed. They were like, are you fucking racist? I was like, I fuck, I'm fuck, I don't know. I need my ass. You know? <laughs> you like instantly right after that, you became racist. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? You know, a lot of people get offended. You start throwing statistics at them and shit. Being yeah. racist as hell. People, be, people walk up to me and they're like, oh my God, you look just like my cousin. You look like this person, that person. I'm like, cool. Yeah, I don't get offended by that. If anything, it's like, the fact that they recognize you as yeah. somebody, it's like easier to get along with them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, people will be like, you remind me of my brother. <laughs> like familiarity. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I hear a date with a girl and she said that hey, you remind me of my brother. <laughs> Dude, stop. <bro. laughs> well, what kind of relationship did you have with your brother? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you got brother zoned. That's a... <laughs> It's a new zone, dude. <laughs> Goddamn brother zone. <laughs> um, so JP's from you. You you travel well, a lot. Yeah, I moved. Yeah, yeah. so my my family was like a military family. Tell me about and that. And even though I was like younger, um, I was like I mean one of the younger kids. So my parents weren't act- actively in the military. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they still like had the inclination to just move around. So like I was born in North Carolina. After six months, I moved to Arkansas. Yeah. Stayed there until I was five. Moved to Pennsylvania. Stayed there until I was 10. And then moved to North Carolina. Stayed there until I was 21. And then I moved here. Oh, you've been out here for a while. How old are you right now? 26. Damn. Yeah. Hey, what well, do you like it better? You like it in California? Uh, I mean, I honestly don't think it necessarily matters where you live. Yeah. I think it just matters about the people that mm-hmm. you're with. Um, you miss North Carolina? Yeah, a little bit. It's a little bit slower paced there. Yeah. Yeah, the people are a little bit slower. No, just just <laughs> yeah, people are just talking to you a little bit slower. Yeah, yeah. Hey, JP. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like. How I'm like, are you, JP? In California, hey, JP. Hey, what are you Sounds like Sims. Yeah. <laughs> they speak Simlish in California. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, what made you move out to California? Um, 
to try something new because I was offered a job over here. So I was yeah. just like, fuck it. I'll yeah. go. Um, what, what was it like when you first got here? Uh, it, I, well, I lived in San Francisco and that was like a weird cause I never lived in a city. Yeah. Cause like I lived in a place that only had 30,000 people and the closest city was like maybe 30 minutes away. Mm -hmm. Charlotte. Yeah. And then when I moved here, it's like so many fucking people. Yeah. Tell me, <laughs> were there any crazy experiences that you had? <laughs> <laughs> I just, just fucking with you. I just <laughs> you, you just kind of see where I was going with that. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're yeah, not going into that JP one. JP resents San Francisco. He moved out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did go to a lesbian yeah. bar by accident one time. Tell me about that. Well, I was going out and uh, I was, you know, Zach. Yeah. Um. So we're like, uh, I wanted to go out to meet some people, and he didn't want to go. So I was like, whatever. I'll just go to a bar alone. So like he dropped me off at this bar that I found on Google and I go there and there's this like girl playing pool. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to play pool and try to like talk to her. And I was playing pool and then I kept on getting like side eyed by like one of her friends, yeah. but I didn't like, you know, you like, weren't paying attention to it. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, I asked her to hang out after and then she like gave me like a weird look and her like friend came over and was like, Oh, she got in. Yeah, yeah. She's and like, then after that, doing? I sat down, and then a gay guy came up to me and tried talking to me. I was like, oh, this is weird. Yeah, and yeah. I go out to the back, and I start just chilling there. My, my, mind you, the whole time, you didn't understand that you were in a gay bar. Yeah, I didn't know. You were just like, what no, no, the someone, fuck is someone, going on here? The, the, person I, the person I'm about to talk <laughs> talk about next, yeah. they told me. That's how I knew. And then I wasn't just making inferences because like someone shut me down. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so... Yeah, I go out there and like this this group of people come over and it's this girl's birthday and I yeah. start talking to her friends and then um, she asked me she's like so why did you go to this bar and I was like oh I was just trying to meet people mm -hmm. she's like no but but like why this bar yeah and I was like what do you mean like, it's a bar yeah she's like no this is a lesbian bar and then I was like oh my god I was now, like no wonder now specifically a lesbian bar she said lesbian she didn't say gay mm. she said lesbian interesting yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know they could be that coded. That's like hyper coded, right? And I didn't know it had really good reviews. That's why I went there. Yeah, that's like a white only bar. It feels like. Yeah, sorry, this bar's for whites only. <laughs> Actually, the group of people are talking sorry, to this, they were like all white. Yeah, except, 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 except one of her friends, I think. Sorry, this is an all black bar. Can you imagine someone being like the other? You know, you, you took me. You, you took me. You to can a only black be in this bar. bar if you if you like dogs. <laughs> like, you took me to a black bar. Did I in Oakland? I wouldn't say, I mean, that's just Oakland. Everything in You told Oakland. me it was a black bar. Nah, but everything in Oakland's black. I think you went there because you wanted some girl to come up to you. Oh, because, black. because I'm black? <laughs> I mean, you that would be, me that. That'd be the great place to go. <laughs> I wouldn't go to a fucking well, lesbian did, bar. But the girl you danced with was white. Yeah. What does that speak to my character is the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so you went into the lesbian bar. <laughs> And so what that's, happened? That's how it ended. It just you. Were yeah, like, I like I went home after that. that. Yeah, yeah. I stayed there for a little bit, and I was like, kind of like, oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be here anymore. That, that's the fun thing about SF. You like you go into a bar, you don't really know exactly what you get if you don't know shit. Yeah, like I didn't know anything. You just you go into a bar, you're like, oh my god, they're so fucking friendly here. Some guy almost like basically rubbed my shoulders, like I got a free massage. You know, you think you're a king. You know, you were his king, I guess. They're, yeah, they're just trying to <laughs> fuck. <laughs> um, I was speaking to one of my buddies. I was like, you know, uh, you know, do, does um, when gay men hit on men, does that translate when a guy? Oh well, I saw, that was on your podcast, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. with Damien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, you know, it's like, like when you're when you're a straight guy, you always think, I don't know, you kind of overthink it. You're like. You know, a what, gay what? interaction? No, no. <laughs> oh, I was Jesus like, okay, Christ. maybe, maybe you're did saying you something. A, did you have a Freudian slip just now, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that when he like fucks his mom? No, that's Epidus. That's Epidus. <laughs> Epidus. Isn't that when when the, the, that story where like the guy like actually like has a thing for his mom? Uh, sounds familiar. Yeah, I think it's oh, Epidus. Oedip Oedipus. 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 Uh, oh, Oedipus complex. The Oedipus complex. No, no. Yeah. Does he fuck his mom? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oof. Yeah, fuck all that. Yeah, <clears throat> some Greek shit, right? Uh, Freudian slip is when you say shit accidentally. You, you like accidentally incriminate yourself. No, I was trying to say that no, about you. you. You've incriminated yourself. You're you're done. Okay, see, yeah, canceled. You're throwing your stuff on Can me right now. <coughs> put the, put the lock and chains on the motherfucker. Canceled. 
in jail. I'm draking you. You're I'm arcalling you. I'm diddying you right now. No diddy. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? Uh, diddy, Diddy's allegation. You have why, you not heard? Did, no, not yeah, heard but anything? why do people say no diddy? <laughs> because it's it's like speculated that diddy fucks dudes. Like diddy, no diddy is replacement of no homo. Uh, and uh, God, do you know what that means? Dude, I sound so white right now. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> 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 Holy! <laughs> um, no, we were talking about the bars. Yeah, uh, I don't know. What's your craziest experience at a bar? In SF or yeah. just at a bar? I don't know. I remember when you almost got into a fight at the bar. I always There's been a couple get into a fight. Yeah, people don't like me. No, I'm a really nice guy. Don't use that. Dude. I'm a really nice guy. I want to take off my headphones. To I know because you that. get it's, <laughs> it's it's way too clear. Um, no, actually, I'm I think I'm pretty chill. It's it's usually like the people I'm with, when like when I'm with someone, they usually get into some bullshit, and I'm like I'm like a good backup. Like I'm like, you fucking with my dude. I just I could literally just have met the dude. I'm like, you fucking with my man. You fucking with me. I feel like I've never had an altercation at a bar. No, I've stopped you from having a couple altercations. You got so fucking hammered one night. Oh, yeah. You were fucking throwing around pool balls. Like, <laughs> dude, you know they weigh like fucking five pounds. <laughs> like, I was like, dude, stop. <laughs> and yeah. it, it was the same bar that you got drug out of, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, I didn't, that wasn't, I mean, that wasn't even an altercation. I, I just, left them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fight, I didn't fight back. No, no, you got pulled out of a bar in a fucking elf suit. Crazy one. Peter work. Pan. Uh, sure. Peter Pan suit. <laughs> they probably thought that shit was so funny. Dude. <laughs> dude that, no, dude, I was like, I was like, they were carrying you. They was, knew, dude, they, yeah. they thought that was funny. You, you, you just got blasted way too early. Well, we had those two 14% beers at that place yeah. that was like, they were like black. <laughs> yeah, they were. And then I, I mixed Jameson and then yeah. tequila too. And you we can't were, do that. Maybe we were drinking like beforehand too. I know. <laughs> tequila, Jameson, beer. Bro, you like, you like go onto the dance floor. You're just fucking like. Oh, dude. That's why. just they, like dancing. Well, I but fell. You're like falling. I fell. That's why they took me out. <laughs> you kept getting up and dancing. But yeah. You couldn't stop the dancing, dude. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, that wasn't one of well, that wasn't one of my best moments. <laughs> and then they pick you up. You don't say a fucking it was just, word. No, 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 no. I did, I did, I did. They picked me up and they were dragging me out. And it was this guy with a red beard. And I uh-huh. said, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> and I just continued to let them carry me out. Bro, they were huge. Yeah, they were fucking huge. I wasn't fighting back or anything. Like no, they were pretty gentle with yeah. you. I, like normally, I no. Both- the, the only time they would get pissed is if you're like hurting somebody else yeah. starting something yeah but like or fighting back yeah they're like this is just get this drunk ass yeah, they're just like this guy <laughs> should not be dancing right now <laughs> so they pick you up i'm like trailing behind them like laughing because it's just like so funny because the elf we, we were there for like 20 minutes yeah no not even that buddy <laughs> <laughs> it was that shot i don't even know <laughs> oh yeah and we were, <laughs> we were drinking. that shot like think, sent me over i think dude. we were drinking adiosis too oh god I yeah, forgot fucking that fucking AMFs and shit, dude. I got yeah, <sighs> funny shit. But you know, do you drink still like that or no? No, no. I have not. That was the only time I blacked out like we, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't go to bars often anymore. Yeah, I don't like going to bars. I I like bars. I mean, they can be okay, but like, I don't know the club bars. I hate. Club I don't bars. like that. I like yeah. the regular bars. You just chill. Yeah, uh, or like like yeah, like some of small town bars. I like small town bars. I like I like going to a bar where people like, actually know you. They actually gave a fuck if you're there, you know. Yeah. They're like, "Hey, you gonna get hammered with us?" Yeah. They, they like they like know you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, how you been? How's your How's the family? You know, you gonna get hammered with us tonight? <laughs> you know, dude. I remember when I went to that one in Brentwood. Yeah. And you remember I I uh, I met you there, and I had like the security guard was like, hmm. I can't I can't remember the whole thing, but he was like he thought I was like on something. Oh yeah. What, yeah. what happened? I don't know. He he like. Uh, he was like they were like taking a picture. I was like, why do you need a picture? Yeah, he's like, I guess they take pictures now mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. people, which is like really fucking weird. I guess uh, to like monitor, they could just get cameras for that shit now. It's so weird. They asked me to take a picture. I was like, why do you need a picture? And he's like, like, show me he's your like, butthole. He's like, why are you so jumpy? <laughs> yeah, he said he that. He said that. Yeah, 
He's like, why are you so jumpy? And I was like, what? What? Yeah. I was like, I'm just, I'm just like playing around, dude. Why are you acting now? Yeah, way, yeah, buddy? exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like he why are you he, acting suspicious? Like he, he thought I was gonna be like a local Coke dealer or something yeah, like that, yeah, bringing yeah. like Coke to his bar. Tell me, what's that in your pocket? Yeah, yeah. Show me what's in your pocket. You I'm see just that? Happy to yeah. see you. <laughs> you see that uh, Sam Hyde video where he's like, show me what's in your pocket. You never seen that show? No. Wait, I'm gonna show you. Oh, where's my phone? Um, but yeah, you were like, you don't like showing your identity and shit. No, I just thought that was because I've been there before. And that's what the guy was like, super, he was like, why are you like, why are you so jumpy about it? What if he was like, show me your asshole. <laughs> let me, let me get a picture of that shit real quick. <laughs> make sure you, yeah, make that, sure you're that guy right was guy. also like tiny though. That security guard was like tiny. He definitely had like a Napoleon do complex. You, do you got something against tiny people? Oh, they're dick sizes. <laughs> <laughs> Show me what's in your pocket. Show me what's in your pocket. I don't even know who Sam Hyde is. You don't know Sam Hyde? No. I bet if you showed me him, I'd probably be like, oh, that, that guy. You didn't turn the brightness down on my monitor, did you? <laughs> I've never seen that guy. This is a security guard, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, dude, what, what like what you think what do you think I'm gonna be doing here? Are you recording me? <laughs> so <clears throat> that guy looks like he touches kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's got a crazy um He's got like a crazy like reality. Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> this is like schizo YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is totally this guy now. Uh, the security guy. <laughs> Dude, he, he low-key had that haircut, though. <laughs> Bro, it was rocking. It was, like, it was like red hair. It was like short. <laughs> so he's got he's got this wild reality TV show that it's like, I mean, nowadays, like, the live streaming thing has gone crazy where it's like, I mean, dude, there's so much Wait, shit. you just could be, like, independent and, like, make anything? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, he put, like, a bunch of cameras in a house, and Sam just tortures them. He tortures them, dude. You got like they, it. Are they in on it? it, dude? They know he. They know that they're going to be tortured. They're. I think their thing is that they have to endure it. They have to. Like whoever lasts longest wins. I don't know. Oh, or they just talk about their experiences, and that's like the show. Look, look. I'm gonna show you like what the kind of shit's about, or we're just gonna watch a, a fucking clip from it. <laughs> It looks like him. Oh, I've seen that guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's. I've seen that guy somewhere. People are losing their mind. Bro, Sam will just break the fuck out of a door. Like, you'll be sleeping, dude. And he'll just fucking tear your fucking door down. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, wait, are you just on SchizoTube, dude? <laughs> Oh my god. I've never been recommended that one time. I get see the type of the type of shit that I have is like conspiracy theories. That's what I get recommended. I think that's even worse. <laughs> Buddy, you're not even set in the real world. <laughs> you buddy. They're so interesting sometimes though. I don't believe them. It's just like interesting. They're like, have you ever seen a glare outside your window? It could be aliens. <laughs> and you're like, fuck, I have oh. seen a I fucking, I saw Claire yesterday. <laughs> you're like, they're in my mind. They're like, well, you should wear a tinfoil hat. You're like, fuck, I gotta get some fucking tinfoil. Hey, those help. <laughs> Let me bring back Dale for a second. <laughs> tinfoil <laughs> has many purposes. <laughs> Not just drugs. <laughs> Not just drugs. <laughs> uh, so the, the show's called Fish Hank. The Sam Hyde show. Dude, what? Um, and it's fucking, I'm telling you, it's fucking crazy, dude. Like, it's fucking, we're gonna watch a little highlight. I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, I'm gonna get another beer. You wanna hold, you wanna hold the mic? Yeah. Just talk to yourself on it. Yeah. 
pretend, pretend you're two people. So a little bit of history about John Paul. You know, he's just one of those, you know, he says he's from like the East Coast, but let's be honest, North Carolina is so far removed from any East Coast. You know, these guys are Midwest. Actually, it's the South, huh? Yeah, it's the South. It's the South. That's why they, you know, that's why they fuck. It's like, no, that's literally the start of the South. It's the start of the South? Yeah. Because, like, Virginia is over there and Tennessee is right next to us. No. Virginia's above us. Like you didn't even grab me a beer, you inconsiderate oh, you cuck. You didn't say anything. I know, I didn't say there anything. There's trash talking where I'm May from. I have one? <laughs> <laughs> May I have one? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Wait, I'm going to pull up this. Dude, this shit's weird, dude. Lenny, you're my favorite fish. Keep your head up. John deserves it. Do you do it? Just do it. Here. I have all this hair all over me. Oh, I hope it doesn't switch mics. I'll, I mean, I'll let you know because it'll, it'll... Like, what ear is it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's right here. Look at this shit. Is this going to be the entire podcast? Us no, watching no, Sam Hyde? No, no, I just want to show you one more Is time. this the... Yeah, this is the right side. <clears throat> <clears throat> Look at this shit. It's fucking deranged. Is that the is that is the really skinny kid there? Because I know that fat kid is like with that skinny kid sometimes on like mm-hmm. YouTube. Like he'll just go in there and destroy their bed type shit. I don't know. I, w- I wonder how much they get paid for that. I don't think they get paid anything. No, no, they have to. No, there I has think, to be some benefit. I don't think there is. No, because they would, he would. If you know anything about Sam Hyde, you know they may not be getting paid just on fucking. So principle. why are they doing it? For like entertainment, dude. Like his dude. That's his no, that's base. crazy. How can they live in that house and have a job? Like he probably, he probably provides like food and stuff like that for the for the contestants, but dude, Can you call them contestants. What the fuck else are they? <laughs> victims. <laughs> <laughs> victims. <laughs> dude, dude. I mean, yeah, he'll just fucking like I don't know. He'll just do some crazy shit. Like he'll just fucking be like, "You motherfucker!" to some like fucking like frail ass girl, and then dude, people were just entertained by it. That's yeah. a that's a that's a fucked up reality show. Oh, that you know. I think about that shit. It's crazy how many people Dude, are just like into fucked up things. There. Me, fuck yeah. no. Yeah, you can do it. I can do it. I I I'd lose my mind. I I my sleep is everything, dude. You, you, I like to you sleep. You barely get any sleep. But when I do sleep, it's like a fucking angel. It's like <laughs> yeah, I picture it right now. It's like God you're himself. looking like a fucking angel sleeping. <laughs> it's like God himself literally is like Mario. You're gonna have the best sleep. Of your life. Like last night, I slept so good. Slept in until probably like 11. Dude, I love sleeping in. Do you love sleeping in? Yeah, I slept in today. Yeah? Yeah, like 11 hours. <clears throat> That's good. <clears throat> yeah, so you do you do sketch comedy. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really do it as much yeah. as I did. You you just have... I feel like you're having fun right now. You're just, yeah, you're just I, having I don't fun know. I, being I didn't, JP. Yeah, I'm not... Like I did that stuff and I it was it was fun but um now your fucking bitch isn't getting money. Yeah, I mean I'm just kind of focused on that. I just <laughs> I wasn't no I wasn't getting <laughs> I wasn't getting like mm. anything out of doing stand up or anything yeah. like that. Stand up's stand up's weird. I feel like it's a real it's a real narcissist game. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if I necessarily like the San Francisco a stand up. Yeah, because mm-hmm. like people are like super competitive. Yeah. And they, they don't like try to like it's not like a, they don't really it's foster, not a social event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the, um yeah, yeah, it's not a social event. Yeah, like they, they take it like super serious even though like mm-hmm. a lot of I'm not trying to trash talk anybody. No, yeah, yeah. But even though like it is just an open mic. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's like it's just an open mic. It mm-hmm. like let's Try to be friends. I would say it's even more competitive in LA. Like, yeah, I don't know nothing about the LA. I, or I, I think, I think once you get to a point in stand up where it's like, you really do realize it's a competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? No, it's, it, like, it's a popularity contest. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Yeah, but one one thing that I see a lot of stand up comedians now that mm. they get big, 
not by doing stand up. We've mm-hmm. already talked about this. Yeah, what do they what do they do? Like they get big off of views online. Yeah. And they don't get big off of doing like stand up, like strictly stand up. You know what's crazy? Like I, you you have mm-hmm. to be online. I was at the San Jose Improv <clears throat> just checking out, you know, just doing their their open mic or whatever. Um and then you see the billboard, you see like all the names of all the headlining comedians who are going to come through the town. Each and every one of them were fucking like TikTok stars. Yeah, like like yeah. ones like Trevor Wallace. Trevor Wallace. Like yeah. he he did skits yeah. and then he started doing stand up. Like I don't, think, I don't even think people know that he does stand up now. Right, right, but right. But I think he transitioned to like now he's like doing stand up like well, yeah. a lot more and in skits. I think he's not I don't know. I don't follow him that much, but mm-hmm. like I've seen his I've seen more videos recently of his stand up than I have of like his skits. And that's probably a good thing. I feel like I, I don't know, at some point as like a TikTok person. If, especially if you're in yeah, comedy. you're either gonna be King Batch or you're gonna be Trevor Wallace at that point, right? Well, King Batch does <clears throat> he he just stand up as well. He does, yeah, dude. He got big off of uh, Vine. Yeah, he does stand up. I hated I hated that part of Vine. <laughs> What's that other girl, Lele Pons? Uh huh. I had a couple of Vines. <laughs> I had a couple of Vine stars. You know Nash Greer? Nash Greer, nah. Okay, oh, that he, sounds familiar. Yeah, he was like this. Like, uh, you try to look like. Like suave, uh-huh, uh-huh. and then he was like, bit, he like lived in my town. Oh, really? Yeah, that's crazy. This other guy did too. Hmm. Um, what was his name? Like Sean or something like that. Mm. He got big. He does like these like reaction videos. But you, but you, they got they got big off of like he's like got big off of that yeah. type of stuff. I guess what I see is that you have to you have to as a comedian, you have to transition uh, as a social media comedian. You have to be able to transition that into live shows because that's where a bulk of money is. Yeah. There's You're so touring. much money in yeah, live touring. shows and yeah. touring. It's crazy. If you can't, if you can't transition, then you're fucking, it's like you're working the fucking meat grinder yeah. on social media. Once you I mean, I, I wouldn't film. know too much about that because I'm not in that position. No, you just, but. you just only know about jerking off. Let's be honest. You have an addiction. Isn't that, isn't that like one of your, I swear you, <laughs> That was like one of your like what uh, my sketches? Yeah. Which one? I don't know. Just you saying that reminded me of like you got an addiction. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, that was one of the sketches we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one was it? The the alcoholic anonymous sketch. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're sick. You got an addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew. I knew that. I the way you said that. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like like now I'm just doing like you're just kind of coming up with the skits and I'm like helping you yeah. helping you do it. But like I, I, you know, I didn't even, I haven't done my own skit in so long. I just, I don't know. Do you ever feel like you're going to get back into it or what? Maybe, but I'm not too focused on it. Yeah. Um, I feel like, you, yeah, you're in that, you're in that place of like life. Maybe let me know if I'm wrong. If my midlife crisis is coming up. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm 26. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 26. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to die at 60. So yeah, your midlife crisis is coming up, buddy. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, that's just basic math. <laughs> Three for Dale, baby. <laughs> um, I feel like you're in that Shake place. Bike. I feel like you're in that place where, where a lot of artists come, where they're just like, I just wanna, I just wanna be myself. I just wanna have fun. I don't wanna stress about art, and that art can be stressful as fuck. Yeah, like I feel like once I moved like further away from the Bay Area, San Francisco, or, yeah, the SF Bay. Yeah, that it was just like it almost became like too challenging to even plan that shit out. Yeah, of like going to because you know I, I moved from. Pleasant Hill to Antioch. Right. So like, it was like thinking about driving like an hour and a half with traffic to go do an open mic. Yeah. You know, some people do it, which like, Hey, good for you. But like, I just, I would rather spend my time. I would rather not drive for three hours <clears throat> there and back. Totally. Yeah. You got any, you know? in life, you got to pick your poison, you know? You got to pick your poison. As we're drinking beer. But I know you got <laughs> to pick your poison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You either beat your children so, or you go to work. Okay, all right, so right. so what's what's coming up for you? What what do you got going on? What's um, what, what are your what are your next moves, buddy? This is my podcast. <laughs> I can ask you those questions, but you can't. I don't got moves. What's like What's your though? next move? What, hey, what's your next move? Uh, <laughs> Shut up, I'm gonna start bro. doing that now. So uh, tell me, what's your next move? I can't tell if you're trying to be black or Italian or both. <laughs> I'm a black Italian. <laughs> so, uh, hey, uh, tell me what's your next move. <laughs> uh, for me, I don't know. I got a couple of things in, in, in tow. I really want to fucking, I really want to find a series right now. I got cyber church. 
I don't know if Cyber Church is hitting. I'll be honest. A lot of people say that they like it, but I, I just don't know if that's, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's hitting. And I think that's normal. Yeah, but, but what's what's the difference between, hmm. are, are you thinking that you're focusing too much on that? If it's hitting or not? No, just focusing too much on on that compared to like other projects. You no, could no, be doing. no, 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 no. Right so now, like, there's like honestly no point in like stopping that if that's the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. right now I'm just I'm just reposting a lot of the Cyber Church episodes on Insta just so that people can get familiar with the story. Yeah, because you're kind of focusing on this podcast, right? Like podcast been, is fun. You've it's, been doing a lot of the videos recently. Podcast isn't actually a huge. Um, it's not. It's yes, I have been doing it, but I'm mostly doing it in my spare time. People just. I'm very pro- productive person like i find ways to get it done a lot faster so i'm able to pump out pods you sound like you had the burp I, it was in there <laughs> it was in there <laughs> <laughs> i'm like <laughs> you're like trying to like suck yeah. it out of him. <laughs> like, <laughs> um no the pot i i don't stress over the pods to be honest with you um it's fun it's fun and it's content and it's entertaining content you know, I guess I could just kind of look at content like a surface level. Like, you know, this is this is entertaining, so I'll put it out. I feel like every comedian should have a podcast. Yeah. Just because it's the new comedian's platform. You know, anybody who says it's not is just a fucking one, denier. One thing, about, one thing about podcasts that I've seen, the ones that blow up, they yeah. always end up getting um, somebody like with a name on it. Mm, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I mean? Well, ideally, ideally, anytime you collaborate, just in general, with somebody who's popular, or has their own wave going, is that you're trying to get you're trying to get their viewers and things like that? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a viewer exchange. Mm-hmm. You know, they get your viewers, you get their viewers. You could yeah. have you could you yourself could have I don't know 10, 10 people who really fuck with you. Yeah, and if they get those, and, and people, you know what's funny? They're like, usually people you don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Or people you never even entertain. Yeah, like whatsoever. you didn't, like you didn't even know them, or like they're just like random people. And those always end up being the people that like support yeah. your shit a lot more than like the people you actually know. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And honestly, those people I've I've encountered some of those people for even for myself. You know, I'm I'm nowhere where I want to be, but I've encountered those people and I love it because it's it's just like they're real as fuck. You know, yeah. If you if you feel like what you're doing is true and authentic to yourself, and when someone loves that, it's like I'm fucking yeah, doing just, it. I, I feel like I feel like early social media, yeah. it was like people were promoting their friends a lot, mm-hmm. and then like now social media, it's like it's turned into a huge competition, especially when you're like an artist. Tell me about that. And then people like don't like artists. I feel like those don't support other artists, mm-hmm. like unless it's their, to their benefit. Yeah. Like the sad truth about that. Mm. So I don't see a lot of people just like unconditionally just like showing support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a very monetary. I feel like they're friends. That that's what I hate too. Like I, I think that's why our friendship. Like the works real out. yeah, the real friends do that. But yeah. like you you get the friends that you hang out with every once in a while, and they're kind of like not they're disinterested in that part. Of yeah, it. maybe that's why you only hang out with them every so often or something. There, there's no real love. There's no real support, and that's hard, dude. That's yeah. fucking. That's real hard shit. To be hanging out with people who, they're like, I'm, I'm only really fucking with you because you're going to go somewhere. Like, uh, you know, past this comedy shit, like, you can get fucked. Yeah. I guess I don't want to be that person. I don't want to cultivate those relationships. I want to, I want relationships. Yeah, but th- you know? those don't, those don't last. No, they don't. Yeah. Because you could be going through a hard time and guess what? Those motherfuckers will not be there oh, for you. Oh, hell no, hell no. They won't be there for you. You know, you want, you want people who, who are there for you. Yeah. Um, so, th- and that's why my, I guess my thing too, is like, I'm really focusing on, I'm loud as fuck. That's why I'm echoing. <laughs> my, my, Let's put the mic closer. No, it's okay. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. It's a better phrase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my thing is like, I just, I'm, I'm, I even started my, my Instagram over to, to kind of push this idea. Ideology is that. When I meet you, it's going to be on a very personal level. If I follow you, it's because I give a fuck about you. Is and, this a sex your... account? No. <laughs> it's like no, because you're like, <laughs> it's on a personal a level. Account. I want to know you on a personal level. <laughs> are, you, are you soliciting on me? Show me your asshole. And you're like, oh my God. <laughs> you know? <laughs> They're like, notifications on. <laughs> You know, I, but I, I really want to actually get to know you, know who you are before I follow you. Like, I don't know. 
it just feels more real more authentic and i don't know you're making real relationships with people i that's something i never had in my life so that's i guess that's where i'm trying to go with that you know what i mean don't don't put your this isn't a therapy bitch <laughs> you open the door you open this door what do you got going on with you well i, I guess i oh i guess i should go into one i want i was, go I was actually i was trying to make you no but I fuck that, you i was trying to make you feel like shit fuck you it yeah. worked yeah you, yeah yeah i want to cry right now hook line and sinker <laughs> Um, I would say we're coming to the end of this pod. Well, yeah, that's kind of where I was going. Yeah, that question. That's yeah, a pretty good amount I'm, of time. Yeah, good amount of time. Great <laughs> amount of time, actually. Shut the fuck up to you. <laughs> um, this is the Naked Cat podcast. What, what number is this? This <laughs> <laughs> bitch will be sixty if you keep fucking <laughs> keep fucking around. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, finally he released the episode. <laughs> Finally, I didn't get to tell him. <laughs> oh, that I didn't get to tell him everything. <laughs> if only we went ten minutes more, I regretted it. <laughs> oh, that bit with Dale and Dale was so hey, that, funny. Hey, that, that was pretty funny, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah until you got to, you maybe do the Black Mermaid thing. <laughs> right. I was gonna get, get you, I was gonna get you something more, or something more. It was gonna get yeah, something we weren't more talking about that. that. <laughs> we were talking about that. Hell no. Next time no, on the next no. episode. <laughs> um. But yeah. This is the Naked Cat Podcast. I'm uh with John Paul Johnson. Do you just go by John Paul? JP John Paul. Yeah. I was like, why does why do I start? People calling? call me John. People call me Paul. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever people want. His I boyfriend guess. I calls know. him Daddy. <laughs> Fucking loser. No brother. Oh. <laughs> that was a reference to the joke earlier. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Don't know. Don't nope. get it. <laughs> Cause she she reminds me of. Nope. You're explaining a joke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> That's when we know it should end right there. That's it. That's the naked cat yeah, podcast. Thank you guys. Right, thanks. <laughs> See ya.